the next topic i will discuss index so what is meant by index index is nothing but it is a schema objects okay so which can be created by any kind of users once the permission is granted okay so index the index is going to contain all the entries of a particular column so the main advantage of synonym is what so it is going to retrieve the data in a faster manner so index and without index so if i create a table like this just you imagine i will create a table student table and for student table i may use options i may use uh, columns like this id name address phone number like this now id is something like 102 103 104 105 106 like this just imagine we have some 1 lakh rows 1 lakh rows suppose i may execute a query like this select star from student where id equal to what something like 9099 sorry no, 999 where id equal to 999 so by executing this command what happens internally oracle is going to search all the table of students it is going to search enter student table for id equal to 999 so once it is going to found id equal to 199 uh, immediately data is displayed but internally it is very headache to the oracle because it has to search entire table it has to search entire table okay so instead of searching entire table just we can create a index index for a table so that what happens here automatically just by looking at the index automatically the row the corresponding row will be fetching from the database table just imagine a small small example suppose i have a book oracle master in oracle master in oracle now just imagine i have some 1000 pages in this uh, book suppose i wanted to know the concept of index the concept of index in mastering uh, mastering in oracle mastering in oracle so how you are going to search just we are going to looking at the index page starting page so in the index page you are going to search for a concept called index okay so on the right hand side you are on the right hand side you are going to find the page number let us say index concept is there available in page number 300 immediately you will be will be opening what the page number 3 300 you will be referring index concept just imagine index page is not there suppose index page is not there for the book so if when index page is not there how much trouble how much difficult you have to face so you have to search each and every page each and every page for index concepts okay to look to look for index searching each and every page means it is very tedious it is very time consuming and it is very horrible job okay without having an index so if index is there directly you will be opening what index page and the corresponding page the corresponding concept you will be tracing out on the right hand side you will be looking uh, looking for the page number immediately you will be opening what the corresponding page number okay just you imagine without index how search becomes very terrible very horrible uh, horrible okay it is very horrible job it is time taken job it is very dangerous job also it is it takes lot of time it is very laborious job okay to overcome that every book is having what index page in the same way once we we can create index for id column so when we create index for id column what happens internally when i say like this select star from std where id equal to 399 now internally what happens the oracle is going to look at index page index index for 399 so what is what index is going to contain the index is going to contain all ids the corresponding row ids what are the row ids for each and every row in the oracle a row id is assigned so it is not our job internally oracle is going to assign some number okay so when you apply a query like this select star from std where id equal to 399 now internally the oracle is going to look for 
triple line in the index. So for triple line, it is going to locate row ID. Okay, immediately, what I will go to that particular row ID. From that row ID, the information will be brought and that will be displayed. Okay, that means for which columns we have to create index? We have, we have got how many columns here? Four columns. ID column is there, name column is there, address column is there, phone number column is there. So we have to create an index for the columns which we are going to use frequently. We have to create an index for the columns which we are going to use frequently. Okay, suppose I, I may create index for name column, address column, phone column. But frequently I am asking, frequently I am written, frequently I am using ID. Then there is no use of the index. Okay, that means you have to create the index for the columns which we are going to use frequently. By using that column only we are going to ask the information from the database server. Okay, so in this case we are going to create index for ID, ID column because using ID only I can retrieve the records uniquely. Unique records I can have by using ID column. Okay, just look at this select star from std where ID called triple line. Here also I am using what ID. So you have to create index for ID column only. So if I use ID column, create for index column within no time, Veracle is going to take the information from std table. So but how to create index? Just have a look, I will show practically. Just I will insert few rows into cust table, insert into cust values. First two list me, let me check what are the columns available in cust. There is no ID column here. Okay, just I will create new table. Create table. I will create student table like uh, STUD 17 because the other names are there. Just I am giving, I am giving STUD 10. Here I am giving out ID number 10. Name character name name character 10 and address address character 10 next uh, column is phone number or mobile number you change it to mobile it is number type number i make you 10 table created. So once a table is created, you can create the index. Create index. Index name is suppose idx. idx. Create index idx. What idx I am giving? id. Mm. Index for id. So I am giving as idx on STUD 10 ID index created. Okay. The next time, uh, next moment onwards, uh, directly you can fetch the information from uh, student table so that what happens within no time, Oracle is going to retrieve the information. So, your uh, indexes are having strengths and drawbacks. So, what are the strengths and uh, what are the drawbacks? I will explain. So I will discuss uh, merits and demerits of index. So already I have shown how to create index. So first I will uh, discuss merits and demerits. So especially you have to create index when you have large amounts of data in a table. Large amounts of data in a table. So when a table is having large amounts of data, as a searching process becomes difficult, it is better to create index. By using index, by seeing, by looking at the index, Oracle is going to extract the information within no time. That means index is suggestible when a table is having large amounts. When a table is having large amounts of data. Okay. So in such case, retrieval becomes very fast. Suppose a table is having very less data. Okay, very less data, like just like uh, 10 rows, 15 rows. So in such case, it is not better to create index because for index also, what happens here? Some space is created 
and uh, in case of small small data what happens here the oracle has to look at the index table and at the time at the index table and original table that means it has to scan two tables index table and original table okay in case of small amounts of data okay in case of small amounts of data better not to create any index so when you are having when you are having large amounts of data then only it is better to create index because with no time the oracle is going to extract the information okay so when the data is very small very 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 least when you are having very least data very small amount of data it is not better to create index because when you create index what happens here for the index also some space is allocated and when you want to retrieve information from a table the oracle has to look into index table as well as original table okay so always it is not better to create index when the data is very small and uh, when the data is very high like uh, 1000 rows 10000 rows 1 lakh rows in such cases it is better to create the index okay so merits when coming under when coming to merit uh, merits what uh, what what merits we can discuss here okay retrieval of rows retrieval of rows retrieval of rows becomes very fast this is merits and when coming to demerits we'll write create a index create index when a table is having large amounts of data a table is having large amounts of data <coughs> third one when the table contains when the table contains very less rows very less rows it is not better to create not better to create index and the fourth one is uh, these also demerit so index is index is not suitable not suitable in the environment in the environment where we are going to perform we are going to perform when we are going to perform dml operations dml operations many times many times why we have we why we are not supposed to create dml operations in the environment where we are going to have many dml operations means so when you are updating when you are performing dml operations suppose you are going to perform update operation so according to that what happens is the row has to be rearranged so for rearranging some implementation code is required so for such reasons so when you want to perform many dml operations it is not better to create uh, index and that is one reason so when the data when the table contains very less data it is not better to create index because for every index internally some space is occupied so if the space is very low space is very less in the table what happens here oracle has to look for oracle has to look into index table in the original table so it has to scan two tables for scanning two times for scanning two tables two tables it will take some extra time 
so in that case it is not better to create any index okay and after once you complete index index next i will cover composite index what is mean by composite index <coughs> composite index so in which cases composite index is created first let me explain what is meant by composite index this is just like a composite primary key so composite index it is a combination of more than one index key more than one column that means in the composite index more than one column will be participating so i will show with one example just to uh, take same student or customer table whatever it may be student table student table you take so in the student table suppose i have first name column second name column second name surname and uh, is address like this so here instead of creating index on single column uh, first name i can create index on two columns so in which case it is suitable suppose two primary names are same two two first names are same next it is going to sort the it is going to prepare the index as per second column okay as per second column means first name is same suppose xx is there and yy is there and here xx is there and here z is there so here in the first two cases what happens here first uh, f name is same xx 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 both are same so in such case what happens here the index will be prepared on second key so this is nothing but what the composite index so in such cases we can make use of composite index concept in the composite index concept we are going to use we are going to prepare index for more than one column that means if you prepare index for more than one column that is said to be what composite index so composite index will be used in this situations where student is having uh, index student is having uh, first name second name surname so in case first name is same next according to second name the index is prepared by the variable okay so this is regarding this is about the composite index